Daniel Mirval. What's up guys, this is Keith Kelf. So I'm here in Chicago with Daniel Mirval, certified arborist. What equipment do we use? Well, we use an air spade. So the air that comes out of the air spade comes out at Mach 2, which is 1,200 miles an hour. So every Mach is 600 miles an hour. It's like harnessing the power of the jet in your hand. I've gotten stories like, my tree doesn't look good, and I tell them I don't think we can do much for it, and they're like, you don't understand, you gotta do something. And I'm like, what's the deal? And they're like, you don't understand. My boy brought that tree home on Arbor Day when he was 12. That was 32 years ago. When my boy turned 19 years old, he got hit by a drunk driver, and that's all I got left of my son. You gotta find, I don't care, try. What is this? Look at this equipment, this lift, this this crane, the boxer. What's up, this is Keith Kelfus. I'm in Chicago right now with Daniel Mirval, certified arborist. You might have seen him in some of my other videos. And we're in his shop right now. They're getting a door installed, a bunch of stuff done. We just did a podcast, but in this video, I wanna go over this equipment, this chipper, the boxer, and do a walkthrough of all the toys? All the toys, man, all the toys. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. Go so all you. the toys aren't really in here. The toys yeah. are actually in another spot because yeah. they're putting the door in, so we need to create some space. But yeah, we got a couple of trucks and other stuff that aren't in here. But I mean, the big piece of equipment that we have is this chipper. You know, it's a more bark chipper, 15 inch capacity. It's got the auto feed on it, which makes makes it really nice. You know, you just put the brush in there and, and it auto feeds itself. And, adjust the RPM so you don't have to have somebody necessarily standing there uh, controlling that part of it. Uh, then we've got our lift. This is our newest thing so we upgraded from the lift that we had before. Um, so this has got 72 foot um, working uh, height. So this is a pretty big deal. This actually came out of uh, all excess equipment out of Pennsylvania. Um, but it was made, manufactured in Italy and then they distribute it you know, out of Pennsylvania. So I actually went to go pick it up. Very cool. So, yeah. And it's good for certain kinds of work. You know, you can't use a lift for everything. There are a lot of times where you have to get into a tree to actually um, make proper collar cuts and identify, you know, what needs to be cut. You can't do everything with a lift. But in certain situations like crown restoration, where you're working more from the outside of the tree back in to the tree, you know, it's very helpful. Um, when you're doing clearance over houses or apartment buildings or things like that, we do a lot of uh, homeowner association work. This comes in handy a lot too. And of course, the boxer. The boxer is a mini skidster. We love this thing. Guys love it. You know, it's got the 54-inch grapple attachment on the front, um, and it can haul damn near a whole tree out of a backyard. It's got a small footprint. Goes through a gate. Uh, most most standard gates and then you know right to the chipper. Very nice. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex, there's flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never Big dog right here. What's up? Big Magnum 661. Nice. We don't do a lot of big trees like this. This is more for like when we're cutting stumps. You know, yeah. after we take down a, a tree, we try to stay under you know 20 inch uh, diameter at breast height size tree. So, but when you get down to the stump and you've got to do that flush cut at the end, it helps to have this. Very powerful, the, very heavy sheet off. So, proper personal protective equipment. You want to have a pair of gloves on you don't want to cut yourself. So we've had situations before where someone's been cut using a chain or messing with a chain. Doesn't take much. A lot of power in this saw. I think the next one's up in 881, but we don't need anything like that. That's more for logging or doing really big trees, super hardwood. And then we got our trim saws. 10 inch bar 
And we got our, our 201s in the truck. This is just another trim saw. It's for small stuff under, you know, a couple inches when you're just pruning. But most of the pruning we do, if you're gonna prune, we don't use a chainsaw. We use hand saws. which is, you know, things, trees and green spaces, is a great platform to uh, learn more. And it's important that we always continue our education. Dude's a legit, and I love that tree of life, bro. It's, it's actually beautiful. a diagnostic tool. So you know how they say you can't see the forest through the trees? Yeah. So it's got the design on it, but when you hold it up to your eye, you can't see all that stuff that's in there, which is the tree, and yeah. it's a magnifying glass. Oh. So I can look at, you know, bugs and diseases and things. Wait a second. You're using electric power pruners? That's electric steel? That's electric, yep. Still electric, it's the HT85. HTA85. It's got the extendable. Nice. It's like 11 foot, some inches. Wow. Yeah. So this comes in handy too. And it's important that people understand that even though it's electric, you still need to wear all your PPE. A lot of people think that you don't need to wear chaps and stuff like that with electric chainsaws, but you do. You still need to wear all your PPE. But it's got a lot of torque. I mean, as soon as you hit this button, it goes. A lot of torque. Nice. That is so dope. How much do those cost? Uh, I want to get one, dude. 300 and something plus the battery is pretty expensive. Dude, I gotta get one. Yeah, very nice. They're electric. quiet. We don't have any electric chainsaws yet, but that's coming next, so. Nice. I have a compressor. Oh, the air spade. Yeah. I walk around what is this? this? The air compressor? So why would a tree care company have an air spade? I'm about to show you. company has an air compressor well you need an air compressor to run one of these air spade technology this is the future right here This is what the air compressor runs. So you might have seen this in the video that Keith did when we did the demonstration of the root collar excavation. This right here is money. Saving trees every day in the urban forest with this thing. So this is good to remediate planting depth issues, root defects, um, root problems, identification of root problems, and conflicts of roots with infrastructure like sidewalks, curbs, existing driveways, or if you're a landscaper that's going to install, let's say, a patio, you install a patio with an existing green space and you don't want to get in a situation to where you're, you know, damaging tree roots, you can come in with a tool like this that, that safely air that uses air to excavate all the soil around the roots and then you can identify where the roots are before you go doing your patio install so that you know you can either cut the roots cleanly because you don't want to rip them out or maybe you have to move your design to compensate for the roots or even after construction you might do a big construction job and you need to uh, decompact the soil do some soil aeration that's what this tool is for right here i call that the magic stick
bro. So what is this? I've seen this in your videos. So this is Rudy, R-O-O-T-I. It's a her. And this was discovered by one of my arborists, Adrian Luna, um, certified arborist. That's an airspace tech. And we were at a house um, and this tree was not doing well. So we came out and we figured the problem was some sort of root issue and we thought we could fix it. But once Adrian started to air excavate, he actually uncovered something that we'd never seen before. But we're finding now that we're looking for it, it's more and more of a problem. But this tree actually was strangled by the packaging material that was used when it was dug at the nursery. So there was non-biodegradable twine that was used to tie the ball and the burlap and secure all the packaging. And it was never taken off when it was planted. Beyond that, the flare of the tree, or like where the roots, uh, you know, the lateral roots that come away from the tree um, started, was buried. Um, so this represents that it was buried that much too deep in the nursery. So all the excess soil that was all on top of the um, structural root system was never removed so and that's something that's in our z60 uh, nursery standards that that's something that's supposed to be done uh, it's, it's commonly overlooked and it's a big problem uh, beyond that it was so it was planted too deep that excess soil was never removed non-biodegradable material was used and then it was it was buried in mulch excessively and the only thing that was really keeping this tree alive were all these things called adventitious roots so um, once my tech realized what the problem was, um, we realized that this would be a great teaching tool uh, throughout the industry to show all the things that can go wrong. So, that's Rudy. Alright, what's this? This is Z133. These are the uh, safety standards and requirements for any work that we do in the tree care industry. So it lays out the shoulds and the shalls. And this was written in blood. It's important that people understand that. All these, all these suggested or mandated OSHA regulations um, were written in blood, literally, by people who were um, hurt, maimed, killed. A lot of people killed uh, to write this industry. It's one of the reasons that we selected red as a binder to put this in. It kind of reminds us of that, of how important it is to follow these standards. Keep you alive. Oh, nice. What is that? Golden Shovel Award for Chicago Region Trees Initiative. Say it again. Golden Shovel Award for Urban Forestry Advocacy from the Chicago Region Trees Initiative. What does it mean? What does it mean? Uh, it means that I've been recognized as a major advocate for the care of trees in the urban forest and advocating for that uh, through the public, through institutions, other professional tree care companies, uh, people like yourself, the public at large. Yeah. Nice. So. What's up, everybody? Just a day in the life. So, you know, story time with Keith Kalfas is really important because a lot of what you do every day is about personal development. You got to spend at least one hour a day doing something that helps you personally develop. So you asked me why I have all these books. So these are just a couple of the books. You know, I, don't, I do mostly everything like you do um, on audible.com. But uh, some of these books I actually get because the content is so good in the audio book that I want to get the the hardcover, the paperback, so I can follow along and take notes and highlight and dog ear pages. So that's why I have some of these. But these are just a few. I just moved into this new office, so I don't even have all my books up yet. So, but you know, Keith always does a story time, and when he does, he's always reading good content. So you ought to, you know, tune in for that half an hour that he does. That it's really important personal development. Thanks, man. That's true. Story time with Keith on Facebook late at night, Instagram. 
Yeah, what you've seen you it, guy. You've seen it. Night to listen to Keith Dunn's oh, stories. Oh, bro, it's perfect. Yeah. Get him in the thing. But the flags, the flags. What about these flags? What about these flags? I'm representing for both cultures. The American side of me and the Mexican side of me. So. All right, sweet, sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed that. That's awesome. We're going to get out of here. We just did a podcast. Check it out. The Untrapped Podcast. KeithKelfis.com. Go over to the podcast tab and hit it. It's the latest podcast. Look at this. Everywhere we go. Oh, these babies. Yo. Yo, yo. Yo. All right, guys. That's the end of this vlog. Like, share, subscribe, stay tuned. I'll put links to him in the uh, the links below. All right, later. Don't forget Bye. to hit the bell button so you don't miss all the cool content that's gonna put out. All right.